Hi, Dr. Hyman. My name is Sue Brown, and I am a recovered sugar addict. So I stopped eating sugar 10 years ago, and I lost 52 pounds in 52 weeks, and that was when I was 52. I have found that there's a difference in my body and in my brain between how fructose and glucose are metabolized and their addictive components. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the differences between those two kinds of sugars. Thanks. First, Sue, congratulations for losing 52 pounds in 52 weeks when you're 52 by cutting out sugar. I love that. Okay, what is the difference between fructose and glucose and how do they affect your body differently? This is actually a great question because there's so much confusion about it. First of all, fructose by itself doesn't really exist in nature and glucose pretty much doesn't either, except you know in starch. Um, but what happens is that they're you know, usually table sugar and most sugars are a combination of fructose and, and glucose. So sugar, regular table sugar is 50-50 fructose and glucose. And high fructose corn syrup is a little more fructose than glucose and they both affect your body differently. So let's sort of talk about it. When you eat sugar, you're getting both. But if you just have glucose, it spikes your insulin. This is the hormone that makes you fat it's the hormone that stores fat in your fat cells and your belly fat. It makes you hungry. It slows your metabolism. It essentially locks the fat in the fat cells like a one-way door on a turnstile like in a subway. So fructose is different than glucose. Actually, fructose doesn't raise your insulin. And some people say, oh, it's better to eat fructose if you're diabetic because it doesn't raise insulin. But it's really nasty. Why? Because it affects the liver. It's metabolized differently. And it actually causes a fatty liver, which actually is linked to early death and heart disease and diabetes. It also makes you more insulin resistant. It increases inflammation. It has terrible effect on your cholesterol. It actually makes your triglycerides go through the roof. Your good cholesterol will go down. You have small particles. It's a disaster. It's a prescription for heart attacks. But when you combine them, it's bad, which is most food. So I think, you know, fructose is being studied now quite a lot. My friend David Ludwig at Harvard is doing a big study on the difference of fructose from fruit versus the difference of regular fructose versus glucose. So I, th I think we're going to learn more and more about this. But I can tell you that, that having fructose drinks where the fructose is a problem, it actually, it actually causes a problem. In fact, Bruce Ames from... Um, so Children's Hospital out in Berkeley, he was one of the most published scientists in history. He actually told me that they were looking at the effect of fructose on the gut, and they found that it caused a leaky gut because it uses more energy to be absorbed. So I would stay away from fructose that's not in fruit. So fruit in a large amount can cause a problem because it turns to sugar, but moderate amounts of fruit can actually be part of a healthy diet unless you're a type 2 diabetic, then you might need to cut it out for a bit. So bottom line, Sue, is that Fructose and glucose are different. They affect your body differently, but combined in fruit, it's okay. Otherwise, I would stay away from both of them because sugar is sugar is sugar.